And we use the word chiropractic technician. Uh, it's the chiropractic assistant is fine. We like the word technician because they're doing tactical work. They are doing um, a prestigious work. When I look at an x-ray technician, I I am in, in respect for that person because they have a skill set. They, um, they went through training. They have processes and procedures that they've learned. And when we look at a chiropractic technician, we certainly want them to be helpful, especially in that clinical department. Every province, every country, every state, um, governmental jurisdiction has particular rules around what a chiropractic technician can do. Find those and, and be clear on those and delegate everything you can. And the reason you do that isn't because you're lazy. It isn't because you don't like it. It isn't because you can't do it. You do it because that's what your business needs from you to grow. You do it because your patients appreciate that at times they have contact with another sentient human being. A sentient human being who cares, a person who emotes um, gratitude for that patient, a, a patient who has compa uh, a staff who has compassion for that human being. So the next part is exam tech. That position is this this person does as much of the, uh, of the examination as is possible, interim exams, and they also are there as an instruction aid and guide. They are the ones who are teaching the patients uh, daily living activities, how to get a, in and out of a bed, how to use a chair, how to use a cervical pillow, or if you've um, ascribed a, a, a particular um, uh, device, orthotic, or, or some um, to help to them in their healing process, whether it's ice and cold or whatever your instructions are, so that's their job. They'd love to have another responsibility other than just sitting there and standing there while you're doing all the fun stuff. I know we like to teach. I like to talk. I love to go to the chart and say, you see this bone, you see this nerve, you see this flow, this is where it's happening, or whatever my instruction of the day is. And I confine that to the time I'm teaching the patient while I'm adjusting them. The other things are where you pass the baton off to the exam tech and say, could you show Mary um, the model of the spine? And, and Mary might see the model of the spine that shows phases of degeneration. You can teach Mary to do that. And Mary can do it really well and Mary can do that when you're busy. I know there are times when you can do that but if you're doing something now that you won't be able to do, hear me again, if you're doing something now that you won't be able to do when you're twice as busy as you are right now, then let it go now or you'll never reach that point. Big, in other words, you have to do before the thing you get the results. You can't wait for the results to start happening and then make the change.